Lollipop, lollipop, boom, lolly, lollipop, lollipop. Ba bum bum bum. Look, I'm like a Cyclops. I am the new X-Men. Cyclops, you like my eyes? Yeah. Dum 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 dum. Dum dum dum. Can't touch this. Oh 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 oh. Okay, let's put this aside. Pushes away. Mini Sam, shut up, man. You're making too much noise over there. That's better. So what's up you guys, welcome back to Bring Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty and whoosh, back with one game, Architecture. One of you guys asked me to do this one. Here it is, brand new. Before I jump into this really quickly, I wanna say thank you to Lawa. Lawa. Lawa, these guys are a lens company. They loaned me some nice little lenses to try out. Look at that. These are special, man. This is like a wide angle macro. I can literally go like, oh no, I dropped it. Oh, lucky I didn't drop the lens. Mini Sam just looked at me like I dropped this thing. I only dropped this part, man. You know, I'm always dropping stuff. You know me. Okay, here, I'll put this on nicely. So you might see some special shots in these last, actually in the last couple of videos, you might see something a little bit different. That's what you're seeing. So thank you for letting me try this out, guys. And look, they have one more lens that looks really, really cool. You gotta see this, look at this thing. Yeah, it comes in this crazy case, man. Open, there we go, look at that. <gasps> Come through the wire, you'll see why in a second. I'm a camera geek, so you know, I love this kind of stuff. Look at that, look at this thing. It is mega long, look at that. So this is really cool because it can shoot close-ups like that, but this thing can go through the set, you know? I can go like that and get like some crazy shots like this, look at that. So if you're seeing shots that look like that and you're wondering how am I getting those shots, it's because of these guys. So thank you so much, you know? I might have to buy one of these. And of course it comes with a cable because you need a lot of light. It has a little light. Look, it has little ring lights here. So in case it's too dark, let's put this away and get back to some bricks. So this thing here that you're seeing stands so tall, it's actually passing the camera on this side, but you get the idea of the height here. This is really tall, man. Is it secure? Who knows, but check it out. This is Juan Gaze, the Oriental Pearl Tower of Shanghai. Number five, two, two, four. 1,109 pieces. Look at that. Is it stable? You're about to find out. Is it cool? You let me know because it looks cool. It's different. It is a little bit wobbly. Look at this. Ho, ho, ho. You think that's gonna fall down? It looks like it wants to fall down, right? You're like, yeah, baby. Don't fall now. Look at that. It hasn't fallen over on me yet. It looks like it really, really wants to, but it does hold in there pretty nice. You know, if you carry it around like this, you do have to be kind of careful. Look, even my face is like, oh no, please don't fall over because I have to redo this review for you guys again. See, there it is, look. Yeah, do, we have to, do, do I have to do a chop test on this too? <laughs> oh no, I don't know if I want to do this. Ah. Any higher, it probably will fall apart. But there you go, it's holding up, it's okay. It's just a little bit wobbly. You might have to go in here and go like this to fix it straight. Ah. All right, so Lego does have a much smaller set here. I'll review this one right now too. I might as well tag team this thing. All right, put that back there and let's start and work our way on the front to the top of this glorious thing. The one thing I actually really like about the bottom here is it has green in there, which is nice. And it has a little bit of a blue color there. It just looks okay. It's simple and it's kind of replicating on all four sides. Here, I'll rotate it for you guys. Look at that. Do you like the sound of that? How it scratches the table? Isn't that sound, man? The trees look a little bit too green. That's okay. And then you got this middle part that's like a mountain, I guess, that's coming into the tower. And you got this blue see-through awning thingy going on. That's the entrance, I guess in going into this tower. And you got the printed sign here. Yes, printed. One Gate prints all their architecture signs, which is really good. And you got these little fences that they always put in all their sets, but it keeps coming off, man. Did I put it back on here? It's kind of hard to get these pieces securely fastened here. But if you look on the bottom, it's not actually secured onto it. It's actually separate. You could technically just take these three pieces out and it won't even like hold the thing in place. So that is just for looks. Only the middle part is being held here and that can pop off. Be really careful, because as you're building this thing going up, it gets super heavy. But as you saw earlier, I do like an earthquake test. Oh look, it wants to fall over, I wanna catch it. Where are you going? But it's still holding up. So that's good, it's not too bad there. 
You know, I've actually been to Shanghai a bunch of times, but I've just never been into the tower, man. I've always seen it from a distance, so I'm not quite sure what's in here. Do we have to look it up? Yeah, I'll look it up. I'll tell you guys in a second. You build this little ball thing here, and then this part above it repeats, and it repeats here, and it repeats here, and you make a smaller ball here, and then you just make a tower, and that's it. The balls themselves, like when you make these balls, I love saying balls, 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 they're actually pretty okay. You work on the inside and out and you just slap these pieces on the side together like that. Turn there and show you like that. It's very simple. And they do put little, I don't know those words, the Technic sticks inside there to kind of hold it in place a little bit. The bottoms one do at least. Top one looks like it's just for decoration. So you can see it's flat here underneath the ball. It's not gonna fit onto the studs properly there. That's a design choice. And we're gonna put this back on. Yeah, slide that in down like that and that's how it holds up. The colors for the whole set is actually pretty nice. It's not that bad. Yeah, what do you guys think? The top antenna part looks like a candy cane, man. It's time for Christmas. Is it Christmas yet? No, it's not. Oh, okay. Never mind. You know what? Because I'm doing the Lego one, the Lego one has history about this. I'm gonna tell you the history from the Lego manual about this set, and then we're gonna jump into the Lego one. Yeah, or maybe I'll save that for the next video. Check it out. The Oriental Pearl Tower. Situated on the button, this 1,535 feet tall TV and radio tower. Oh, it's just a radio tower. I see. Has become an iconic landmark for the city, especially as its futuristic style stands out against the area's other diverse architectural styles. Completed in 1994. Where were you in 1994? Where was I in 1994? I was a sophomore in high school. California Temecula! Linfield School, represent. Mini Sam, where were you in 1994? Were you born yet? 1994. Or was I that, am I, am I that old? 12. You were 12? Yes. The tower is made up of 11 bigger and smaller spheres. The largest one with a diameter of 164 feet. That is supported by legs that reach far into the ground. Unfortunately, this one doesn't even support it. The tower sits on the edge of the riverbank and has 15 observatory levels, the highest of which is at 1,148 feet. All right, so here's a comparison between the two, the real one and a fake one. What do you guys think? Can't really see it there, it's cropped there. If I go up here, then you can kind of see the upper part. Yeah, it's not too bad. Kind of looks like it. I wish these were more reflective or shiny. They didn't make it round enough, man. How dare you guys? It's that time once again for dimensions. Man, this tower is so tall. I had to kind of go wide, so I'm probably gonna see the whole table. I have here in my hand a 32 by 32 base plate. I'm gonna put it right down next to it here. And oh, it's bigger than a 32. It is actually 34 studs by width. And it is also by length, 34. However, the set itself is smaller, so you can actually put that tower on the plate and it'll be fine. Yo, here's my one by four bricks. Where are yours? Do you have enough bricks? I didn't want to take any of my sets apart, but this is all I've got for now. So of course it can't reach the whole tower. Now if I was to put this on the plate here and stand it right there to the second ball, right there on the top, that is 51 studs in height. So what about the antenna? All right, let's check out the antenna. So we're gonna put the antenna right here next to the tower. Take out the one by four bricks again, put it right here. And that is, woo, that is, 25 bricks in height. So 51 bricks in height plus 25 for the antenna is 76 bricks in height on the stand. If you had it on the floor, you know, give or take, you probably add two more bricks on there, so probably like 78 bricks in height. You know what? If that's too tall for you, you can always go like that, put that there, and you got half a tower. I actually kind of like that. Much more stable now. So there you guys go. That's the Oriental Pearl Tower, Shanghai from Wangay Architecture. You'll never find it anywhere else this big, as far as I know. Lego doesn't make it that big. Maybe they will one day, but there you go. Look at that. We gotta hear that sound one more time as I'm turning this. Is it fit for you? Yeah, is it too big for you? Is it too wobbly wobbly? I like the scale, actually. The size is actually pretty cool, man. And it's really similar to the CN Tower. You guys remember that? You wanna see a comparison? And also I have another one here. I'm gonna pull out two sets to show you guys. Yo, yeah, the CN Tower, yo. And this is the Empire State Building. Actually looks pretty cool against each other, right? What do you guys think? Which one is the tallest one? Just by looking at this, Shanghai Tower, man. It's just barely beating this one, CN Tower. You can add a couple more studs to make it even taller. But there you guys go, yeah, not bad. 
I like it. It's cool like this. You know, one gig has that thing, don't touch it. That should be their slogan. You can't touch this. Yeah, let's end this thing and jump in to the other set. All right, you guys, until next time, bring me out. They didn't make it round enough, man. How dare you got, oh, excuse me. Look at the set, you guys. It is so beautiful. Hurry up, Scott, we need to put this on, so. Oh, man, look at this, you guys. We got new products. Mini Sam, what are you doing interrupting my video? Man, look at this, though, you guys. Look, from Oxford Block. Good luck, man. I know, right? Oh, look at this, coffee shop. You got Outback Steakhouse. Thank you, Sam. Where are you going? You need to take these back and put these on file for me. Wait, we got two more. Shake Shack and Kia Motors. Yeah. Now stop playing around and go back to work. Mm. Damn it. Oh, look, it's, it's, it's like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. What did I just do to it, man? Actually, it looks kind of cool like that. <laughs> yeah. Scotty, what are you telling them? It's too far up, I can't hear you. How do you guys like my bowls? I'm standing on my bowls. This makes a great lookout tower, dear. I like it. I like it up here. It didn't mean we did Scotty not align those balls properly. You mean his balls aren't straight? Yeah, it's irritating me. They're supposed to be lined up. Hey, you're right. You know what? I've been working out so much here. I'm going to see if I can turn this thing, all right? Let me know when it's centered. All right. All right, hang on to your Hugo. Uh. Keep going. Keep going. No, 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 go back, go back. Okay, okay, I think you almost got it. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, stop. Right there. That's perfect. Let's take a look. Yes, Scotty! You did it! Big Scotty will be so proud of you when he sees it now. All right, you guys. The Scotty's still out of town, but he will be back. Man, I'm itching for an adventure. Yeah, me too, man. Uh, just a couple more sets, then we can finally get back into it. Thank you so much for watching this channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll be back with more. Yeah, architecture. Let's do it, dear. Right on, Scotty.